All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Nutrition at Noon. My name is Emily, I'm one of 10 in-store nutritionists with Giant. And happy Earth Day! Today we're gonna to be focusing on shopping for a healthier planet in honor of Earth Day. The presentation today will be about 15 minutes. First 10 minutes or so, I'm gonna give you some of my best tips and strategies. And then for the last five minutes, we'll finish with a live Q&A. If you have any questions during the presentation, please feel free to type them in at the bottom of your screen at the Q&A tab. If you're new to webinars, no worries. We, please be assured all mics and cameras are off. We can't see you or hear you. So no matter what you have going on at your homes at this busy lunchtime hour, we're happy to have you with us. All right, so we're gonna start off today with a little bit of a poll. In honor of Earth Day, we're gonna keep it sustainability related. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the poll. All right, so what do you take into consideration when shopping for your food? Is it taste, price, sustainability, the nutrition content, or all of the above? What's most important to you? And we'll give you a few minutes to fill out the poll. Looks like we just have a couple of people left to vote. So I'll let them finish up and then we'll talk about the results. All right, let's take a look at what we have here. All right, so as you can see here, answers are kind of all across the board. People are taking taste, price, sustainability, and nutrition content into consideration when they're doing their grocery shopping. We can see that most people answered all of the above, um, and items certainly differ, differ depending on what they are. So all of these things are important. As nutritionists, we hear from customers all the time that people are looking for environmentally friendly and sustainable options. Now more than ever, people are looking for how to make a difference in their community and in their world. So today, instead of focusing on the health of the person, which is what I typically do as a nutritionist, I'm gonna shift gears a little bit and talk about the health of the planet. All right. Before we move forward, you've probably heard the word sustainable or sustainability thrown around. Um, recently, and I want to make sure that we develop a little bit of a working definition before we move forward with the rest of the presentation. So the UN World Commission on Environment and Development defines sustainability as meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. And when we think about sustainability, maybe we hear about it in TV or on the radio, or maybe we're thinking about it in terms of food and seeing labels on food packaging. For me, several words come to mind. Things like fair trade, organic, sustainably sourced, rainforest certified, all natural and free range. And if these things are important to you, and there's things that you wanna take into consideration when you're doing your shopping, then it can honestly be a lot of work to look up what each and every one of these mean and figure out how they relate to the products you're putting in your cart. So here at Giant, we have one tool that can help do this work for you. That's what I'm gonna to talk to you about today. It's one resource that takes all this information and boils it down to just one thing, and it's called How Good. How Good is an independent research organization that rates foods based on its social and environmental impact. How Good helps you to find items that are sustainable, wholesome, and honest. And it helps you to make informed decisions based off of what's important to you and your personal values when you're shopping for yourself and your family. It's important to keep in mind that this is not a nutrition rating. It doesn't take into consideration the nutrition content or make health claims about how it'll affect your health or body. What this rating shows you is how the products that you're choosing and the companies that make them interact with the larger world as a whole. How Good rates items based on three basic criteria. 
So first of all, sustainability. So this leg of the rating system goes back to environmentally friendly growing practices and really also takes a look at how companies treat their animals and if there's humane animal treatment. Secondly, how good rates items based on the degree of processing. So this comes down to the ingredients, helping to make sure that ingredients are and remain simple throughout the process. And then lastly, how good also takes a look at ethical treatment of employees. So this is where that social arm of the how good rating comes into play. This helps to ensure that um, employees are treated ethically and fairly and also roped into this leg of the rating system. How good takes a look at how companies give back to their communities and to their environment. Once items are rated across these three benchmarks, they may earn a how good rating. So if an item receives a rating of good, that means they exceed in one of these three benchmarks. If an item receives a rating of great, then they've succeeded in two benchmarks. And if an item receives a rating of best, they excel in all three of those benchmarks I was talking about. So if this is something that's important to you or something that you'd like to can take into consideration when you're doing your shopping, then there's two easy ways for you to find out what the how good rating of an item is. First of all, when you're in the grocery store and you're walking up and down the aisles, check the price tag. Giant makes it super easy. It's the how good rating is located right on the price tag so you can take a look as you're shopping. Secondly, you can download the how good app. This is a beautiful and very user friendly app that allows you to search for items by name or you can scan barcodes to get an idea of what the How Good rating would be. So I'm gonna show you an example of how easy this is. I have the How Good app downloaded on my phone, and then here I have a can of crushed tomatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan the item, and then I can see that this item has a rating of good. What I also love about this app is that not only does it tell you what the How Good rating is, but it also gives you a breakdown of why that item received that rating. So for example, if I check my app, I can see that this, these crushed tomatoes received that rating because they're made from minimally processed ingredients and the company that creates them practices fair labor laws. And you can take this app and walk up and down the aisles of the grocery store and take a look at what items receive how good ratings. And you may find that items that you're typically buying have ratings and you didn't even know it. For example, Siggy's yogurt and the crushed tomatoes I was just showing you, both of these are staples in my house. I always have them in my fridge and my pantry. So when I scanned all the items in my kitchen the other day, I found that they both had ratings of good. Both of them received these ratings for having minimally processed ingredients and those fair employer practices I was talking about. Now Cabot cheese, which I love for a charcuterie board or a happy hour snack, and Nature's Promise tofu, both of those received ratings of great. Again, for those minimally processed ingredients, fair labor laws, and both of these items also come from companies that regularly give back to the community. And then lastly, Love Beets, which you'll find in the produce section, and Bob's Red Mill Corn Grits, both of those receive ratings of best for a lot of the similar reasons as the other items I mentioned, but both of these companies also excel in sustainable farming practices. And when you're shopping for something specific, say pasta, for example, there are so many options out there. So whether you're voting with your taste buds or with your wallet on which item you're gonna choose, you can be assured that you will be able to find something with a how good rating. Before we wrap up, I wanna take a little bit of a deep dive into two companies that I love whose products receive how good ratings and talk a little bit about why those companies and items receive those ratings. So first up, Wild Planet Seafood. Wild Planet Seafood products, things like canned tuna or canned salmon or sardines, receive a rating of good. And that's because Wild Planet makes it a priority to prevent overfishing and always commits to protecting the natural habitats. Wild Planet uses two different types of fishing called trolling and pole and line fishing. Now both of these methods take a little bit longer than traditional large scale uh, fishing operations. But the reason that Wild Planet does it this way is because they have committed to making as little impact on the environment around them as possible. Wild Planet has also committed to only selling seafood that is low in mercury content. So they're also always keeping the health of the consumer in mind. 
Secondly, I wanted to highlight Bright Farms. You can find Bright, Farm, Bright Farms produce in your local giant, and all Bright Farms produce is grown locally. A giant, the Bright Farms produce that you'll find is grown in Culpeper, Virginia, so only a couple hours away. Bright Farms uses hydroponic greenhouses, which means that instead of growing in soil, these items are actually grown using water. And so you can, they use up to 80% less water, fuel, and land than traditional large-scale produce growing. Bright Farms also uses no pesticides ever in their produce, and they partner specifically with local and small farms so they can stimulate the local economy and give back to their community. And Bright Farms Produce receives a rating of best for all of these reasons. I want to institute a little bit of a challenge in honor of Earth Day. I challenge all of you right now to get out your smartphones and download the How Good app. It's free. It takes only a minute to download. So download it onto your phone and then get to scanning. Check some items in your pantry and your refrigerator and see what you come up with. And I challenge you to find three things that are already in your kitchen that have How Good ratings. If you want to take it a step farther, next time you go to the grocery store, Scan some foods you've never tried in the aisles, find one with a How Good rating, and try something new. If you want to learn more about How Good or any of our nutrition resources, please visit us at giantfood.com nutrition. There you can connect with one of us on a one-on-one -on -one basis for a virtual consultation. We also have online classes and webinars like our daily Nutrition at Noon webinar. Our blog has inspiring recipes and education ideas. And we also have our Nutrition Made Easy podcast. And this is something I really want to point out today because we have a special Earth Day edition of the podcast out. Um, one of my colleagues, Mandy Katz, talked with one of the scientists at How Good, and they get into so much detail about how the process works and have a discussion about the environment, especially in today's climate. So I definitely recommend all of you check it out. All right, so we have just a couple minutes left, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if we have any questions. Okay, we have one question. What if an item does not receive a how good rating? So this is a good question. You'll probably find when you are scanning items in your kitchen or the next time you go grocery shopping that some items, you'll, definitely you'll see good, great, or best, but other items you might see don't come up with anything. And that's not necessarily a negative, it just means that that item did not meet one, at least one of the benchmarks that I was talking about before. And then we have another question, is how good available in every giant store? Yes, no matter what region you're in, uh, you can find how good ratings in your local giant. You can also download the app and just get to scanning. Okay, and then last question I have, how many items receive how good ratings? Um, again, a great question, and actually there are over a million items um, kind of worldwide that have, been, have received How Good ratings. So if it's something that's important to you or something that you want to keep in mind when you're shopping, you'll find you have a lot of options. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for joining me for Nutrition at Noon, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.